Good morning, afternoon or evening depending on your location. This teaching here just for you to be blessed by it. It's a teaching that we all need to listen to and adhere to in order to be what God has called us to be. We are in this world and not of the world. A life of consecration has its challenges. But there are examples in our days that we can see and learn from. One of them is this teaching and testimony of Apostle Ero Marseille, shared at the Liberty Church London. You can also go and listen to the full message on the YouTube channel of the Liberty Church London. God bless you. Right? Then we have the bond offering. The bond offering happens to be consecration. And consecration is not compulsory. You might decide not to consecrate yourself. It means you are going to be a believer that is useless to God. You are just existing. Yes, you are saved. There's nothing, no doubt you are saved. But you are of no use to his kingdom. You are just using God to achieve your own thing. You are isolated from God's heart. So when you now decide, that's why he's begging us. By the mercy of God, is the right thing to do. To consecrate yourself. I married from the Yoruba tribe in Nigeria. And part of what is required when you marry from the Yoruba is that you will need to do something called the Obale. Meanwhile, we are from the royal breed in my own conclave. And we don't, we don't do ballet. Do ballet is not accepted. So uh, it was a great uh, challenge. But we eventually yielded. <laughs> when they gave me the lease to get the items for the bride price, it was written in Yoruba language. The first need I had was to get an interpreter. On the list was a certain kind of fish that was not in our waters. I had to travel to Iloring. And when we brought all the items and put on the field, it was a mountain. It was when I married I realized there was something I didn't pay for. My wife's love. But if she's reasonable, having seen the trouble I went through to get those items. She's supposed to give me for free. That's what Paul is saying. That I beseech you. Jesus paid for your, your bride price was his blood. Now I beseech you to be reasonable. That if he has paid this price, you are supposed to give him your love for free. Supposed to present your bodies. Who are you working for? Working for Jesus? Or oh, you are just using Jesus to achieve what you want. If we check your prayer list, the most predominant prayer list in this place, which is legitimate door, is marriage. But you did not come to it to get married. That's not why you're here. When your life begins to serve that good that is on the heart of God, then that's when you experience what is called prosperity. In prosperity... The, the things that the Gentiles are seeking for, they navigate in your direction. The Bible says, seek ye first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness. And the things the Gentiles seek will navigate. You don't seek it. And I can tell you, I've walked on that path. I was a senior officer in the oil industry without a car. Not because every salary I took, every month, I go buy cars every month. I was not poor. But he would not have me buy a car for seven years. Learn how to operate without a vehicle. And in the process, he will learn of me. My colleagues called me a Jew. I was outside of the box. I couldn't fit into any, any team. Because when I come, I come with my own philosophy. And I'm so bold that you can't change me. I have a pact with Jesus and I'm not hiding it. A lot of persecution I had to suffer because of my position. 
But you know what? I knew the job. <laughs> if you want to get the job done, you need to find me. But if you want to play politics, I'm bad at that because I have a master. I have a master. And all I do is to serve his way. Consecration is going to make you God's man. Your, your preference, your scale of preference, your prayer list, everything is going to change. Because life in consecration is different. He gives you what you pray about even though your needs are obvious. And for a long time, he may not even give you the opportunity to pray for your needs. I, I know you don't know that life. Oh, you never shift. You never shift into dimensions. If you are not a consecrated entity. Meanwhile, you can live in another ecosystem that is a vast to his government. It's possible. But if you want to play according to the script, consecration is not a choice. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God. Do you know in the oil industry when they send you, because we were regulators. I was a regulator. So we, I was a supervisor once at Beachland. All the depots at Beachland was under my control. If I wanted to make money, I would have bought homers, right? every month, once every month for, for four years. I would have gone home with a gym text bag of dollars five times a month for four years. But I had no car. So you can't even negotiate with me because you don't even know which island I am. What my preference was because they knew I had the money to buy a car. But I was not mine anymore. And my master would say, you walk on foot. And I, I was like that for seven years. And when the guys see that they cannot manipulate you with money, they will bring women around you. I'm talking about women that look like they just brought them out of a leather bag. <laughs> brand new from the factory. When that one didn't work, then they say, I'm a member of a cult. I, um, I serve something, something very dark. I'm a wicked man. <laughs> if the world has not yet given you a name, then you have not been obvious. I was in the heart of corruption. But you will not do that close to my table. I lost promotions, I lost upliftments. Trainings, I was supposed to go abroad to Houston. What they'll do is this. They'll, they'll program me two weeks before the training so that I cannot go to the U.S. Embassy to get a visa. And they did that three times. Your own stuff will not just work. But for every other person, it will work. And I was not sad because I knew where I was. I was not of this world. There is one that brags about me. His name is Jesus. When it was obvious after seven years that what you seek is not your glory not your comfort not your then god put something on me and the thing he put on me brings cars so i don't need to buy cars anymore they come do you understand what i'm talking about if i pray here in the name of jesus something will happen but i was in the wilderness for a very long time my time in the cave was too long Ministers of the gospel looked at me and pitied me. That this your own part is not the strange part. The only person that felt I was a champion was my wife. In her eyes, I didn't need to fight to be a champion. <laughs> Let Jesus give you a name. Don't make one for yourself. The second requirement is faithfulness. If we check your diary, the things that he said to you 12 years ago, 15 years ago, are you still there? Or you've decided to change your job description. I was an usher, pastor, at the door. I was the one that welcomes people in. I'd started operating the gift of prophecy there, but my designation was at the door. And there I was. It was still at the door. Jesus came and he touched me. I was, I was there at the door. Oh, if, if, you, if you say, if you deploy me now to the ushering department, you will see how effective. 
I can be because I was there. I, that's my place. We prayed on seats for people that will come. That when anybody sits here, he will be changed. We, we developed an intercessory ministry from ushering. Developed all kinds of stuff, just ushering. And people didn't know why they had encounters. We held night vigils or touching seats. Prayers that our pastor never knew about. And in fact, the time he discovered we were praying for him, he stopped us. He said, this, this kind of prayer. <laughs> stop. Stop this prayer. What's, what's that? He stopped us. Meanwhile, we had prayed for him for seven years. Wow. I was at the door. I never knew I was a preacher. I was going to be a preacher and I did not desire to be a preacher. I just love Jesus. Today, we add breakthrough to our love. Do this and I will love you. Do that and I will love you. It's like you use a Japanese calculator to, to, to interpolate. This is how they curve. Oh, you don't know that God is even better than you. He loves you more than you love yourself. Stay where he says you should stay. And don't get smart. Don't get intelligent. I can't tell you the things that happened to us. When we started evangelism, we went to a place where there was a shrine and the masquerade speaks, gives, speaks in tongues. And then the, 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 the guy that is, is at the, the medium will now interpret the tongues and give instructions to the village. I've been to places where it's this oracle that gives names to people. And for six years, the oracle had not spoken. So every child that was six years and under had no name. Yes. As part of our apostolic um, requirement, labors, we had to give names to all the children that were six years and under. When the hand of God broke out and it was stronger than the power of the oracle, they said, become our oracle. Name our children. So my ministry was in the woods, was not on the pulpit, on the stage. It took me two years to learn how to hold the mic close, close to my lips because if I'm preaching, I'll just... <laughs> two days... Stay there. I never knew God would send me to the nations. I, was, I felt I was most suited for the rural areas. The, the place God trains you is not where he will manifest you necessarily. And now I tell you I want for nothing just to serve his will. So I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God to offer your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable act of service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. In order for you to be a disciple in this context, your mind will have to be renewed. If not, you will think God is cheating you. And I want to tell you that there's more excitement in the Holy Ghost than in Champions League. So this morning, we are reaching for a new dimension. But I need to tell you the truth. The meaning of this is that his government will become real over your life. And he will be the one that is in charge of your space. He's the one that will use your intelligence to serve his will. Use your beauty to serve his will. Use your strength to serve his will. They will any way he, he pleases. That's the life I want. I pray that's the life you want also. It is when you have this, you are comfortable with this kind of life. There's an anointing in places of you. You still remember Saul? Saul of Israel. This was what Samuel told him. He said, The Spirit of God. Oh. Should I read it? He said, The Spirit of God will, will, will come upon you and you will be changed into another man. That's, it, there's an, it's an anointing that will transport you into a new dimension. Yes, you'll be transported so much that even your temperament will change. It will be another man. Another man. Another man. The me that my mother knows is the me that stammers. The me that stammers. And then, and I was an undercover preacher for a very long time because people were coming to tell my mom that I was not going to school. I was just preaching around. So if I come home, 
I'll just be quiet. I, they'll be sick. I know I can pray for them and they'll be healed. But I said, have you tried, have you tried this drug? It, it works on this kind of stuff. And when my mother eventually came and saw me preaching, she knew this was not the son she gave it. I had been changed into another man. She never knew I could speak like that. It, it was the stammerer she knew. My ability, my outlook, my perception, my conviction had changed. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. That's the scripture God gave me. That his spirit is going to come on people today so that they will be changed. When there, there are dimensions of the Holy Ghost that comes upon you, your appetite will change. The things you long for will change. Your prayer list will change. Even the, the idea of a husband that you, you, you need will change. You'll be changed. You'll be changed. You'll be changed. You'll be changed. Into another man, you'll be changed. Your temperament, your emotions will shift. Everything about you will shift. Another man will come out of your vessel. Another man with a new, with new skill sets, new capacities, new abilities, new types of grace. You will be changed into another man. There's an anointing that can come upon the man and his preferences, his choices are altered permanently. His desires he punctures his desires deflates them and he begins to long else blessed are they that hunger that thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled he comes to fill you up and i see someone when you were 13 years old there is a presence of god that used to envelop you and you you could not explain that 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 experience but somewhere along the line, you lost it. It left. As I speak now, it comes back. It comes back. It comes back as I speak. It comes back. It is restored as I speak. It is restored as I speak. You will be changed into another man. If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, it's time to speak in tongues. As we invite him to come. There's an anointing that will make the shift. An anointing will make you a different creature. Oh my God, your preferences will be altered. Even your name will change. You will be changed. Masuke Bande Korea. That is the reason why God called you out in your family. He called you and he made you who you are today. There is a reason. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. Do not forget it. Do not forget his covenant with you. Do not forget it. Simon Kumbres Kito Balatwai. Shkeva Samakante Lizo Sominala. Praskito Koberakuta Banteli Mande. Boska Parata Skufela Mina Kentolia. Rumbe La Masika Breskofela Makadia. Oh, we give you glory. And we give you praise and we magnify your name. There are 12 people that God is bringing into the ministry of intercession. 12 people he will want to hold, to raise your hands in the city of London so that a visitation can come upon the land. He comes to conscript and he will conscript 12 people 12 individuals 12 individuals the grace of god will come upon you the hand of god will descend on your life it is a new day for you he comes to conscript you you are part of the people that will bring his presence into the city of london his hand comes strong his hands come strong his hands oh my god oh my god oh you are 
And any yoke, yokes will break this morning. But the Lord is conscripting. He's conscripting. There are 12 individuals. He's bringing in. He's bringing in. Giving them an unusual capacity to perceive what is going on in the territory. The hand of God is upon you. It is to this end that you were apprehended in the Lord Jesus Christ. And his right hand, his right hand is upon your life. There are three prophets, three prophets. The prophetic anointed will rest upon you. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Have people called you a Jew? You are different in the office. No one wants to associate with you because of your convictions, because of your values. The Lord comes to change you. He comes to transform you into another man. He comes to give you capacity for your conviction. Oh my God, the hand of God is upon you. The hand of God. Hand of God. The hand of God is upon him. The hand of God is upon him. I see a woman, you've been, you've been trusting God for a husband. And it's as if it's, it's not forthcoming. What I see in the spirit is that you have refused to fulfill your calling as an intercessor. If only you, you accept this morning to begin to attend to that calling. The miracles that you seek will find expression. If you open your heart and give him half a chance, the anointing will come. It will come upon you so mightily. So mightily. La bobo seculama. Sebraskito. Kobre mamana. Ikosan. Endara babori. Amasale bokorio. The anointing comes on seven people. On seven people. On seven people. There's a transformation. That is going to take place. Seven people. Lord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy Ghost, move. The anointing opens a door for you in the spirit. There's a place in the spirit. That God wants you to be deposited. Yes. You focused on the wrong things for too long. And now the Lord calls you. He calls you to stand with him. He calls you to be his man. He calls you so that you can have strength and grace from him. To mount up with wings like the eagle. He calls you. He calls you. He calls you. He calls you because this is the time. This is the season. This is the moment. This is the moment. There's someone that has a heart condition. There's a heart condition. There's an infirmity. You've been struggling with that conviction. Con heart issue. God is healing you right now. He's healing your heart. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. He's right taking the affliction away. That yoke breaks in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. So, two prayer points quickly. Can you say, Lord, I want to be useful to you. I want to do what you want me to do. Can you tell him? Make that commitment before him this morning. Make it before him this morning. I want to be your man. I want to be your man. I want to be... Someone that you can count upon. Someone that will be available for you. I want to be that man. I want to be that man. You don't need to look away. Because I'm ready. I'm willing. I'm available. I'm available. I've been running from pillar to post. 
for all these years looking for what is not lost but I'm available I'm available the things that I looked for I never found them so Lord I quit looking I'm available I'm available I want to be your man I want to be your messenger I want to be your man oh my God thank you Lord for I beseech you brethren by the mercies of God to offer your bodies your bodies a living sacrifice oh yes Lord thank you Father in the name of Jesus if like me you are saying I want to be your man I want to be your functionary the one you will come to if you have need for something to be done in London in the United Kingdom come to me You are the reason that I live. If that is, if that's what you are saying, no, you don't need to come to, you, no, I'm, I'm, you don't need to come to me physically. Just lift your right hand up. That's, if that's what you're saying, you just lift your hand up. Because I want to pray for you. God is going to occasion a shift. Even your hearing in the spirit is going to be helped. It's going to be helped. The Lord is going to pass through this auditorium. Because the Spirit of God will begin to come on men so that they can be changed. He will change your desires. He will change your life. He will change everything about you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you said that your Spirit will come upon us so that we can be changed into men that function from a different dimension. I pray you this morning look upon us with mercy and let your hands be stretched forth from my right hand side to my left hand side to the back of the hall I ask Lord stretch forth your hand and begin to anoint 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 let it come stronger let it come stronger let it come stronger to the very back of the hall Begin to anoint. Begin to anoint. Holy Spirit, begin to anoint. Begin to anoint. That we might be changed. That we might be transformed. Let your anointing come stronger. Oh my God, there's a woman. And the anointing, just hit that woman. Just hit that woman. God is opening you. Your spirit, your capacity is beginning to change because of the anointing of the Lord that is upon your life. Simon Okozila Makule Mamaya Ropeskiso Salamakande Baru Ramesiko Presco Fatamantel Ekamantala Baboro Rukasketo Misa Salabute Kana. If there is any sickness, Lord, on the bodies of your people, let it be taken away. Let it be taken away in the name of Jesus. No affliction, no pain will stand the anointing of the Lord Jesus. Now that you have made yourself available to be his man. Oh, the affliction has no choice but to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I see a trumpet. There is someone that is going to rise in the music ministry that is present in this place. And the hand of God will reach to you. The hand of God will reach to you. Because your voice will be heard. It might be instrumentation. It might be singing. But there's an anointing for the music ministry. And it's so powerful. I sense it. So strong. You will need to bring take your guitar again you will need to sing your ancient songs because God is coming to you he's coming to you he's coming to you he's coming to you so I pray oh Holy Ghost take us from this point journey with us journey with us journey with us until we are changed into another man 
Do not stop. Do not yield to our complaints. Do not yield. Journey with us in the spirit. Journey with us in the spirit until a little one becomes a thousand and a small one becomes a strong nation. Grant, oh God, that the least among our numbers will become as strong as David the king. Thank you, Lord.